Man, just tell us about that interception you got there in the first half. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, it was a great call by coach. Um, you know, great, great execution by the defense. And uh, just, you know, being able to make that play, man, was huge, you know, just just, just, just for the defense and as a whole, man, just because, you know, uh, it was a big turning point for us. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to make that play if the other guys didn't do their jobs. And, you know, everybody just executing at a high level, man, just put me in position to make that play. Absolutely. Talk about execution at a high level, man. Two Krispy Kremes in four games. Care to talk about how important was it to uh, maintain the shutout today? Yeah, uh, it, it was. It felt real good, man. It felt real good. But that's just, man. You know, I, I can't even really say I'm surprised because I know the amount of work that we put in. You know, uh, I know each and every day when we come out there, man, we demand a lot out of each other, man. And just to see it show up on Sundays is just, it's a blessing. Um, and we just got to continue to work, man. There's still a lot of room that we can, we have left to grow. Uh, we can still be a lot better, man. And that's what makes me so happy, knowing that it's still a lot of meat on the bone, man. And we can continue just to, just to get better. Uh, you know, we're not at the highest peak right now, man. And we still got a lot more room to grow. And I'm excited to see where we can take this. Absolutely, Tremaine. We're going out there, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Okay, Tremaine, uh, thanks for joining us here. Mark Gaughan for the Buffalo News. Just going back to that interception, I'm pretty sure there was a blitz call on there, right? So you guys were rushing the passer. Just kind of what were you, were you reading his eye? Were you dropping? You know, what coverage did you have? And, and kind of what do you recall of uh, watching the quarterback on that play? Yeah, so like you said, man, those guys did a good job of applying pressure. And, uh, you know, I was just reading the quarterback's eyes, you know, kind of dropped out, kind of rolled with the receiver and uh, was able to make a play on the ball. But, you know, like I said, those guys did a good job of, uh, you know, going fast, getting pressure on the quarterback and, you know, making them uncomfortable back there. And, uh, you know, I was able to make the, the, the big play. And then obviously, the, you know, they did a lot of quick uh, with a young quarterback, a lot of quick stuff, uh, receiver screens, screen passes. I mean, it, uh, uh, you guys were, seem like really pursuing fast and well to the outside. I mean, you kind of can you just talk about defending a lot of that quick game stuff? That's the first question. And then my last question is the uh, fumble you forced. Uh, what do you recall of that play? Yeah, uh, you know, we, we, we preach about it every day, just about playing fast. Uh, you know, not, not sitting back, letting, you know, the offense dictate us, but doing what we do and do it at a high level. And, uh, you know, whatever play the call, whatever call the coaches made, we want to execute at a high level and uh, just want guys playing fast and, you know, guys getting to the football. And, you know, based off what I saw, I know it's still a lot of players out there that, you know, that you got to go back and look at it, man. But, you know, I take my hat off, you know, just to the guys that's on the defense, man, that just, you know, played their butts off. And uh, like I said, man, that stuff started at practice and we preach that day in, day out, uh, finishing plays. And um, you can see guys, you know, um, executing at a high level. You can see guys, um, you know, playing their butts out, playing their hearts out, just trying to get to the ball. And, you know, that just results in good play. Thank you. Main, congrats on the win. Appreciate that. Can, can you talk a little bit about all the depth players that uh, stepped up today in, in the win? You obviously had a big pl uh, coming in for Matt. You were without two starters in the secondary. Jaquan has the interception. Uh, you, you have Cam Lewis with the forced fumble. So, you know, can you tell us a little bit about what it means to have such tremendous depth on this team? Yeah, first of all, man, I just want to, uh, you know, congratulate those guys, man. And I'm extremely happy for those guys. You know, the way they prepared throughout this week, um, they was real confident when they stepped on that field, man. And, you know, that's what you look for in guys that are stepping in, um, you know, for, for guys and playing at a high level. Um, those guys were ready. And uh, that, that goes back to the preparation they put in, man. And, you know, so I'm, I'm very happy for them. You know, guys was able to make plays, you know, not just being out there, but, you know, making plays that dictated the game. And, you know, that's what you look for, man. And, you know, I'm happy for those guys, happy that they had the opportunity to go out there and experience that. I know it has to feel good. So, um, you know, like I said, man, it's just they, they put the work in. Uh, so I'm not even surprised because I saw them all throughout the week. And, um, you know, they, they did it throughout the week. So, you know, I'm happy to show it up for them on game day.